So, is a cask proton helmet, which is no, the next one? No, it should it, not be more. <laughs> is it more expensive or less expensive? It's Higher or be, lower? It's got to be less expensive. If you're paying 3,700 plus for a helmet, then too late. The damage is already done to your head. You don't need a helmet. So hello, welcome back to another video. I've got this one back with me and we're going to do the price is right. So I've got a load of bikes and bike accessories and she's got to guess the price and then see if the next one is higher or lower. So a bit of an old format, but cycling related. Mm -hmm. New changes as well. Obviously we're in a different room now. We're in a, we're in a studio, we're lit. So back by unpopular demand. Is that <laughs> And probably by her, we, we're glad to see her back. But anyway, the price is right. The first one. We have got a Wahoo Kicker Core Smart Turbo Trainer. How much do you think that is? It's not, it's not the one I've got. Do I not get like a, a, an idea? <laughs> the main thing is you've got, you've got to guess if the next one's higher or lower. Right. But you just need to have a guess how much a non-cyclist thinks you would pay for a turbo trainer. Bear in mind I've got one. Not too dissimilar, but yeah. not as expensive as this one. Not as expensive. £390. £390, so no bonus point. It is actually £699. It is one of the premier ones. I think there is a better Wahoo kicker one that's about £1,000. Buy this Drive for £700 and cycle in your own house. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the next one is a Boardman. It is an SLR 8.9 disc road bike. So oh this, yes, this that, one, that, that this one is on sale in Halfords. So is it higher or lower than the £699 turbo trainer? Well, it's a bike. I'd hope it'd be more. But the fact that it's in Halfords and on sale makes me think that it's... I didn't say it was on sale. You can buy oh. it as in it's for sale in oh. Halfords. <laughs> it might be on sale. It, it wasn't when I looked. I'll go with less. I think it's just a little bit... You think less? I don't know. <laughs> I so, feel like it should be more. So, well, but how it, much do you think it is worth? It's got one of really, it's I a really one of five drivetrain on it, so it's check. not not the top of the road. Really should have checked uh, bikes before I came on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like a bike should be more than turbo train. Should more? Well, I mean, you need a bike. For the turbo trainer. What do you think? You get a point if you guess the correct price and you also get a point if you get higher or lower. I'm going to go with lower. <laughs> You're going to go with lower? Yeah. Bold move. <laughs> it is actually £1,500. Okay, that's a lot more then. So, yeah. Another bike. So this is the Boardman SLR 9.6 disc road brake and it has Ultegra group set. So that's the next one up from the 105. Slight hint. Theoretically, it should be more then if it's like the new version. But why would you? That seems too easy. I'm gonna go with higher, two thousand. It's three thousand one hundred pounds <laughs> for this bike. But yes, it is higher, so that's another point for Abby. How much do you spend? We'll buy a car for like. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so much fun driving a car. Everybody's miserable driving a car. Everybody smiles when they're riding a the bike. That's a good enough excuse. Right, so your next one. These are lightweight Meilenstein Obermeyer carbon wheels, made in Germany. So how much do you think a pair of carbon wheels are? Bear in mind this wheel set weighs completely together 937 grams. I mean they're wheels, they should be less than a bike, because for a bike you get wheels. But they are carbon. But that means you're paying over three grand for a set of wheels. Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'll go higher then. Correct. These are £3,749 for a wheel set. <laughs> that face. So, is a cask proton helmet, which no, is the next one. No, it should it... not be more. Is it more expensive or less expensive? It's higher or be, lower? It's got to be less expensive. If you're paying... 3,700 plus for a helmet, then too late. The damage is already done to your head. You don't need a helmet. But how much would you pay for a cast proton helmet? I wouldn't. I'd find like a cheap one. Um, how much do you think a cast proton helmet is then? Let's 
I think, is this like a, a good quality helmet? Team Munios use these. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it's like in the hundreds. So I'm going to say lower, but... Lower will be correct. How much though? I'm going to do with 300 pounds. 300 pounds for a helmet. I know. <laughs> 185 pounds, it's still quite it's expensive, still expensive for a helmet. expensive, but I'm glad that it's not 300 pounds. <laughs> but is it higher or lower than a Met Trenta helmet? Well, this one looks a lot fancier. Appreciating all the different coloured backgrounds as well. Mm -hmm. I did, did do that just for you. I think this one's more expensive in like the 250 range. 250 pounds. So you're going higher, 250 pounds. It's 198 pounds for this helmet. Yeah, it's more. It is more, yeah. It's uh, very lightweight. And, and how do you sure. justify spending 200 pounds on a helmet? Because your head that you need to protect if you come off. But you could have got a 185 pound one and save yourself some money. <laughs> you could have done. <laughs> right, so a Castelli Midweight Pro Jersey. Is this higher or lower? And how much do you think you would pay for a Castelli Midweight Light Jersey? I mean, me personally, I'd probably splash out mm, max 60 quid. <laughs> max 60 quid. Being, being the tight ass I am, I think we've got to build up and go higher again. I'm going to say higher. Higher than £198 for a jersey. I don't like this game. <laughs> 200 and 75 You think that some people would pay £275 for a jersey? No, but... I mean, someone wants to pay £3,800 for some wheels, so I mean, none of this no, makes sense. Nobody wants to pay <laughs> 3700 for a pair of wheels. They'd like to have those wheels then. So are you saying I should say less? I'm not saying anything. I'm asking you as a non-cyclist, what do you think a cyclist would pay for a Castelli jersey? Less for 120 Final answer. It's one hundred pounds bang oh, on the nose. Oh, much much so, that, <laughs> so there you go. Not as bad, no, but still expensive look too for bad a jersey. Either. But oh god, the best jersey. Is it more expensive or less expensive than the Mendip jersey? I think this would be more expensive, just purely because it's a custom design. You know, it's a good job Mum's not playing this game because she would not be happy, would she? <laughs> uh, not knowing. <laughs> um, My bike was five hundred pounds. Honest. Okay. No. Um, I don't think she ever bought that one. I'm gonna say it's more. Did we buy you one of these for Christmas? You did. Okay. I'm gonna say lower then, and I'm thinking around eighty quid. Eighty quid and lower. It is lower. It's fifty-one pounds, so it's a bargain. It's a bargain. <laughs> Right, so is a Trek Madon SL6 disc more expensive or less expensive than the Mendic Club jersey? Is this your bike? This is not my bike, oh. but it's a very nice bike. Oh, yours is an SL5? It's a, mine's a Damane, so it's a um. different model. But this has got an Ultegra group set. I feel like this, an is, SL6. this is too easy. It's no well, way I can make them all hard. There's no way that's I? less than 50 quid. Higher! Um, and how much was your how bike? Mu how much, much was your bike? How much do you think this bike would be? Two thousand. No. My bike was five hundred pounds. <laughs> How much was your bike? I know. I know you know. Five hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read your eyes? You wouldn't tell me. I want to say two thousand or five hundred pounds, but I feel like this will be more. Let's go. How much was your bike? Let's go. How much were the bikes at the beginning? <laughs> uh. Three thousand three hundred for the Halfords Boardman. That's, That's the top of the range bike at Halfords. That's Halfords. Or fifteen hundred pounds for a lower spec bike. Four thousand pounds. Four thousand pounds for a Trek Madon SL6. Five thousand pounds. <laughs> it's four thousand six hundred. I was in the right thousand. So you were really close, <laughs> and it was higher. So you get. Mm, you should give her a point for the. She was quite close to four thousand pounds. My car cost three thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Right, so. Is a giant propeller advance two disc more expensive or less expensive than a Trek Madon? And this has got a 105 group set. <laughs> so, another bike. Another bike. Giant are the um, 
most popular bike brand in the world. Are they the biggest? <laughs> they are the biggest. <laughs> the biggest bike company in the world. But this one looks nicer. Um, so... But it's a 105 group set, the other one was Ortega. I don't know what that means! It's not as good a group set. But it looks nicer. It looks prettier. <laughs> I'm going to say lower, but only by a little bit. Lower by a little bit? Yeah. And how much by a little bit do you think this bike is worth? A mm, couple hundred. So 4,400. Mm, I'm going to say a couple hundred and then within the range. <laughs> yeah. It is actually £2,498. It's a bargain for you. Mm, yeah. I could still have a car. <laughs> right, but is it more or less expensive than a specialised Tarmac Disc SL6 Sport, which also has a 105 group set? So same spec bike. So is it more or less expensive than two and a half grand? Is it more expensive than your car? <laughs> I think less. Less. Two thousand. Two thousand pounds for a specialised time at this sport. Two thousand seven hundred forty nine is <laughs> slightly higher. That was a bit mean because that one was quite close. <laughs> Similar spec bikes. But there we go. What did I score? Uh, <laughs> I will top them up. <laughs> no. So I've just briefly topped that up in my head, and I think you got eight out of ten of the prices right, <laughs> but you didn't get any of the prices, but you did get really close with the Trek Madon. So you got nine points. We're going to give you nine points. So did you beat Abby? <laughs> Probably. The non-cyclist with nine points. Put it in the comments. Let us know how you did. Let us know if you enjoyed that game. And back by Cockative Man. Bought a joke of the week. So as you may know, I like reading books. I would take all of this money that you're spending on bikes and spend it on books. But at the moment, I'm reading a book on anti-gravity. All right. It's impossible to put down. <laughs> they really don't get any better. <laughs> anyway, thank you to Abby. Thank you for joining me once more. Out of retirement, she came for this one. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please put it in the comments. Um, we did quite a few, ten. we did 10 in all. 10. Back in June, of last year ish i think in the first lockdown so go back and watch those um other than that i will see you on sunday hopefully me and dale will be out for a ride it looking it's looking like rain at the moment so we're going to go out and get wet but we will go out because uh chances have been few and far between but thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you soon you might see this one back if you want to see it back <laughs> if she wants to come back I don't know. I mean, you win. I mean, you win. <laughs> Thank you again.